Okay, this um, session is it's looking at the rating thing, the number thing that we attach to chess, playing chess, and the difference between playing over the board and playing online and the expectations, etc., that us as individuals potentially have um, in terms of how we should perform or what is expected of your performance, etc. If you've been watching me for a while, then you'll kind of understand I have this lose to win mentality as well, which we have covered in the past, whereby losing games does not mean you've actually lost your performance or your skills or anything. You could be practicing different ideas, different concepts, looking at how the opponent actually reacts to certain things that go on. Um, so instead of charging forward, trying to get to the 2000s and all that type of stuff, being realistic, because on this particular site here, um, I reached, what is it, 1885. And I think I'd reached 1805 or something. And then I said I'd stopped playing the rapid games on here because it is the hardest chess site in the world. Because after that, then you're basically playing people who have got the skills of like a computer. Really sharp, you don't really get much of a look in and you don't really kind of enjoy the games. And that's my own experience. I'm not trying to influence or change anybody's mind or whatever it is. You know, I'm, all I'm saying is, is that from my experience, from what time you hit the, hit the 1800 mark type thing, it, they are extremely strong on this side. So then what I do is I look at my games and I go, OK, how can I develop my game? So what I look then is that I'm playing games, looking at different ideas. As I mentioned just previous, um, looking at different ideas of manoeuvring, seeing if it works, seeing if it doesn't work. And I'm not bothered about the losing aspect. This is where I differ, I suppose, from other people who are striving to push forward and get to the maximum of what they can. And this is not me losing on purpose. This is not sandbagging. This is not smurfing or anything like that. It's being realistic with, with the skills that I have. Over the board for this last season, um, fortunately for us, we haven't even lost the game yet. And that's the kiss of death me saying that now because next next part of the season probably going to lose every damn game. But we've drawn we've drawn games and we've won one game, surprisingly. So there's benefits to actually doing this type of training for myself. I'm not saying this is the ideal thing for anybody else. It's just letting you know if you're looking on my account and you're going damn he's lost 242 rating points in the last 30 days it's because i'm playing some really good players you know and uh, i haven't won many games at all i've drawn maybe the odd one here and there so being realistic i've had a, a massive stream of losses based on the strength of the players that i'm playing against i've done blobs i've done blunders so it's realistic in my head I have the skills to go further, but the opponents have blocked me. They've played better than what I've played. So I appreciate that. I'm comfortable with that. And I'll keep on playing my games. Whether I get back up to the 1800s or not, I'm not precious about that. What I'm looking at is the impact it has on my over the board play. That's all I'm interested in. So I could have a stream of losses. I've lost 242 rating points online. I don't care. What I kind of care about really is how I develop in my over the board, real play, real life games. So that's the reason why I'm doing this video, just in case people are looking and going, damn, it's not that good. He's losing all these points. He's I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm not a master. I'm not on here saying, oh, well, yeah, get to 2000s, this, that, and the other. Um, um, I know how to develop my game. And the impact is shown in real life in the over-the-board games. Improving the art doesn't mean you have to be a 2000, 2300 or whatever. You don't, it, that's not my goal. 
my goal as you should know by now is to improve the quality of my game and if i lose playing a quality game and i know full well that the opponent may be just slightly better then i'm going to resign the game because they've played a little bit better you know um they've either got a good position they've grabbed a piece or i've made a blunder and they've taken advantage of it so i'll hold my hands up and go hey i'll resign i'll take that one see if i can bring it into the next game try a different way a different way of moving and this helps enhance my development in my games so just letting you know what's happening with my account at this moment in time and always remember it's not sandbagging because i'm not getting any money for anything i don't get any endorsements nothing like that all i'm doing is just looking to develop my chest in my way you have to find your own way and accepting losing and developing as i'm losing that is my way other people's ways is increasing their ratings and having a mental breakdown over not achieving a high level mine isn't mine is relaxing and being re real with what i can actually do online and appreciating that there are many many players online that can wipe the floor with me so long as my over the board game play is not too bad at the minute um I'm not fussed because I'm doing something right. That's something that I've always got to remember. There's many players that are high rated online. And then when they're going to play in the over the board tournaments and stuff, then you see that they're not performing as well as they do online. I want to be the reverse. I'd rather play badly online and play real chess half decently well. That's the message for today.